Hello, hello. So this time I will actually create a RAID array on my uh, server. And right now I'm just using putty because I'm going to copy and paste some commands. And um, first command goes like this. And every command that I paste here is on my blog. Um, and I put a link to that blog post so you can just read it and just copy and paste. So this shows you the drugs on here. And you can see it's SDA, that's the uh, boot drive. And then we got SDB, SDC, SDD, and SR0. SR0 in this case are the uh, optical drive. Uh, it's a virtual machine and this optical drive shows up. But what we are co going to concentrate right now is the SDB, SDC and SDD right over here. So uh, you can see the SDA has a partition or two partitions on it. But this SDB, SDC, SDD doesn't have any partitions or anything. So this is the three drives that I'm going to use for the RAID. And the next command is going to be this command. And I'm going to use a software called MDADM. And it's actually just pre-installed on the Ubuntu server, so you don't need to install it manually. So that's the software, and I'm going to create. Uh, and it's going to be this disk uh, is going to call, be called MD0. And you can call it MD1 or MD5. Uh, I name it for example, MD0, because I'm going to create a RAID 0 array right now. If it's going to be a RAID 1, it's going to be a MD1. Or if I create a RAID 5, I'm going to call it MD5. But in this case, I'm going to have a RAID 0. So that's the next thing here, level. And if you're going to have a RAID 5, you're going to type 5 here or a RAID 1, you type a 1. And the next command here will be how many hard drives I will have in this array, and I will have three, it's these three drives here. And of course you need to tell which drives to uh, uh, have in this array. So it's SDB, SDC, and you type dev first. And right here, just press enter, and then the password. And when you create a RAID, a RAID 0, this will be pretty quick. If you create a RAID 5, this may take a while because it's going to create the parity and stuff. And you can check that status by pressing this command. And you can see a sort of a progress bar if it's still doing stuff. Right now you can see it's active, which means it's created the array with these drives. SDB and so on. And next we're going to create a file system on uh, this RAID array and use the uh, make file system here and I'm going to use ext4 
on the dev md0 that I just created. So just press enter. And it's pretty fast because the drives are kind of small. You see they are only 20 gigabyte in size. And next I'm going to create a mount point for this so that you can mount this volume that's like this and as I said every command here is on my blog so you can copy it like that and then we now we can actually mount this drive pseudo mount dev null and I'm going to mount this as MNT as a mount like that and now you can actually check how much space available and here you can see it says dev mapper and that's the boot drive and then we got the dev md0 so 59 gigs So yeah, there are three 20 gig drives, so it should be about 60 gigs, and you can also see mounted on MD0. And now you want to have a command, so if the computer restarts, um, you need to be able to reassemble it automatically at, at boot and for that you're going to have this command over here and you're going to edit yeah and that's the result you get with the UUID and next you're going to update the init tramps or initial ram file stable initial ram file system so that the array will be available during during the early boot process so for that you do this Take a little while here. And it's done. And now we're going to add the new file system mount options to the FS tab file for automatic mounting at boot. And why you want that is well, if you have shared folder on that RAID array it's really good that it actually is mounted when the computer boots so press enter and now it your RAID array is created and it will automatically boot or be it will be or mounted at boot so that's how you create stuff and now you can actually make a directory onto that uh, onto that uh, raid array so sudo make directory and remember it's called we mount it as mnt mnt and then md0 Oops, MD0, and then we're going to create a folder there called share. It's going to be a shared folder. So if we go into a 
md0 and list files you can see it uh, now says lost and found which is the the trash can or recycle bin and then we have share so we have two folders so we can go into that uh, share and there's nothing here but yeah so uh, we created a raid array with these hard drives and we also created so it will be automatically mounted when you reboot the computer and a future video I will show you how to use Samba to kind of share that folder with the Windows computers so that you can have this as kind of a file server so yeah this is it this is how you do it and as I said before all the commands is in the blog post that I made and I put the link to it in the video description so yeah see you later